a lot of people turn to ClickUp to keep their work on track. The cool thing about ClickUp is how well it balances clean design with functions that adapt to what you need. But what most people don't realize is that there are features tucked inside ClickUp that can really level up how you work. We thought it'd be more helpful to walk through a real, everyday situation where people actually see how they can bring more results. So in this video, we're going to share seven useful tips and tricks that can make a real difference in your work. Subscribe to Be Productive and let's get started. Here's something we wish more people did right away when using ClickUp. Set up a proper process library. It sounds like a small thing, but it makes a big difference. ClickUp has templates built in, which is great, until you realize you can't actually edit them only after you've already used them. So if you want to make a change, you have to launch the template, fix it, and then go back and save it again. That's definitely not the best system. So what's a better way? Just build your own workflows inside ClickUp, organize them clearly and keep them all in one place. For example, if you're in marketing, you might have a folder for SEO, another for paid ads, maybe one for web projects. Inside each, lay out the full process. Include tasks, due dates, estimates, and any custom fields you usually use. Then save those as templates. That becomes your process library, the place you can always go back to when things change or need to be improved. It's way easier to update a saved template than trying to fix things in the middle of a live project. And once you've got that set up, you can roll out clean, updated workflows every time. Isn't it a better approach to manage your works? Drop your thoughts in the comments and we'll move to the next one. ClickUp gives you multiple ways to look at your work and each one serves a real purpose. Start with table view. This one's great for editing several tasks at once or organizing details in columns you can sort and filter. Then there's calendar view. It shows tasks laid out over days and weeks, which makes it much easier to manage meetings, due dates, and anything time sensitive. If you're more of a visual thinker, board view is ideal. It breaks down tasks into cards and stages so you can easily see where each client is in the sales funnel. Finally, there's Embed View. This allows you to bring in outside content, like a Google Drive folder, right into your workspace. Using these views together can seriously streamline your customer management process. Here's something that'll really help streamline your setup in ClickUp. Build out a knowledge base that holds all your SOPs. Do this at the everything level, so it's easy to access from anywhere in your workspace. Say you've got a guide on how to create a podcast episode. Lay that out in your knowledge base with every step included. Then, inside your podcast task template, link that SOP right at the start. Now, every time you use that template, it brings everyone to the same instructions, whether it's for a new project or a new client. The beauty of this is you only have to manage that SOP in one spot. Update it once and every template that links to it stays current. When your templates and knowledge base work together like this, you get a setup that's clean, repeatable, and easy to keep up over time. Definitely something to put in place early on. AI is making it easier for businesses to stay connected with customers. And with ClickUp automations, you don't have to do the same things over and over again. Things like welcome emails, follow-ups, or asking for feedback can be automated with ClickUp automation. You can also set it up to assign tasks, change the status of a task, or shift team priorities to keep things on track. To use automations, click the button labeled Automation in the top right of your workspace. The page is easy to follow. At the top, you'll manage all your automations. On the left, there are different groups to pick from. In the middle is where you build your automation. It's based on a simple idea. If something happens, then something else should follow. For example, if you want a comment to be added whenever a new task is made, just set the trigger as task is created 
and the action as add comment. Type in your message, save it, and that's it. From now on, every new task will include that comment and you'll see it right away in your inbox. If you work with more than one workspace, that's not a problem. ClickUp lets you set up different automations for each one. Just go to the Manage tab, pick a workspace, and see what's running. It works for all types of work, from planning projects to running marketing campaigns. Automate what you can and spend more time on the important stuff. Let's say you need to collect customer orders or get feedback from your team. With ClickUp, it's pretty straightforward. You can add forms right into your workspace so everything stays in one place. Just go to the View menu, click on Forms, and you'll see five different templates you can start with. If none of them feel right, there's an option to build your own. The feedback form is great when you want to hear what people really think, whether it's customers, coworkers, or anyone else. It helps you get a better sense of what's working and what needs a little attention. If your team is kicking off something new, the project intake form makes sure you've got all the key details up front. It helps avoid any confusion down the line and keeps everyone aligned. Then there's the order form, which makes handling purchases or service requests a lot simpler. Everything gets logged in one place and you don't have to chase down missing info. Trying to fill a position, the job application form gives you an easy way to collect and organize applications so you can focus on finding the right person. And if you're on an IT team, the IT requests form is a big help. It keeps tickets organized and makes sure issues don't fall through the cracks. If none of the templates fit, you can just build your own from scratch. ClickUp gives you the tools to customize it your way. However you use them, Forms and ClickUp make it easier to keep things clear and under control. If you've been using ClickUp for a while, you know it's packed with tools to help manage your work. But let's be honest, it can get a little overwhelming trying to find the right thing when you're in a hurry. That's where Ask AI comes in. You'll see it at the top of your screen and down in the corner. It's basically your helper inside ClickUp. Say you've got a bunch of different workspaces and projects. Normally, to make a new task, you have to click through all these sections just to get everything in the right place. But now, you can just type out what you need, something like, add a task for next week's client call in the sales workspace. And Ask AI does the rest. It fills it in, puts it in the right place, and saves you from doing all the extra steps. It's like having someone on hand who already knows your workflow. In ClickUp, there's a really easy way to get more done without using your mouse. It's called Slash Commands. All you do is press the slash key on your keyboard and a list of options shows up. From there, you can make a new task, give it to someone, pick a due date, and even add a tag or priority level. You can also format things like making a heading, starting a list, or adding a table. The more you use these commands, the easier they get. After a while, you won't even need to think about it. ClickUp also has hotkeys, which are shortcuts on your keyboard. You can turn them on or off in your settings. They help you move around ClickUp faster. For example, if you press T, it opens a new task. S lets you search for anything. M gives a task to yourself. These are nice if you want to save time. But if you don't like them or keep hitting them by mistake, you can turn them off anytime. In summary, ClickUp is evolving with features that cater to various aspects of productivity and collaboration. We encourage you to experiment with these tools and see which enhancements best fit your workflow. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.